Okay, I'm here in Moskva, uh, Moscow for you English-speaking people out there. And I'm here with Ivan, one of the uh, first precious metals dealers in Russia. And uh, tell them about your company, and you've got offices here and in London, right? Yeah, thank you, Mike. Uh, my name is Ivan Zhiznevsky. I'm managing director of uh, Mr. German Sterlegov's uh, group of companies. And we are the first private precious metals dealers in Russia. We started our business in London because uh, the rules of uh, precious metals markets in Russia are very strict. But uh, there is only one opportunity for Russian investors to buy physical gold in the form of coin. It's official central bank's uh, coin, St. George. And uh, it's the exception for VAT tax. So it's the only one investment coin in Russia. But the problem is that they are minting these coins for only two years. And uh, a month ago, we found brown spots on the surfaces of the coins. And uh, we think that it could be corrosion here. So Mark, yes, have a look. It, it looks like there's some impurities in these coins. Uh, when you take a, a jeweler's loop and you take a good look at it, you can see uh, streaks and stains and, and there's spots and it does appear to be some impurity, like a corrosion. So it never so. happens before with investment coins, with official investment coins of central right. banks. So uh, what it could be right here, it could be uh, corrosion caused by uh, a minting process, so uh, some uh, copper or something else could be on the surface of the coin, or uh, it could be even a fraud in central banks, so the huge amount of gold could be taken out. So you sent them out for analysis. Well, that's a kind of conspiracy thing we, we've got here because uh, we can't make proper analysis in Russia because, uh, well, the experts, they are frightened, frightened to make the analysis because it's the central bank coin. It's, well, it's the serious thing here. So we sent it to analysis to London, to our office in London, but the coin was lost by Deutsche Post. Can you imagine? The coin was lost. They, uh, they were searching for it for three weeks. So they were talking that it went to Australia first. And afterwards, they, say, uh, they, 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 they said, we, we can't find it. We just can't find it. It's we don't know where lost. is it. Yeah, it's, uh, that's officially okay. lost. And, and so uh, you've sent another one out since then. Yes, yeah, right? so and now waiting. we are waiting for, okay. for the results. And you tried to sell these back to the central bank. And what happened? Of course. And uh, they, they say, we sold you these coins in perfect condition. What, what have you, what you did with them? So kind of uh, the official answer of Central Bank we've got in paper, uh, it says uh, you were keeping these coins improperly. So now it's your, it's your personal problem. You can sell them. They say probably it could be the place with the high humidity. That is why they got, uh, you got these coins roasted. That's an awful answer. Can you imagine? Even pupils in school, they learn that gold contrast. Right, yeah. Um, you know, they find old Spanish coins and stuff in sunken ships that have been there for hundreds of years at the bottom of the ocean, and they're still in perfect condition because gold is a metal that does not corrode. For anybody that doesn't know this, gold does not rust. This is the reason that it's one of the per perfect forms of money. And as you can see here, these two coins are different colors. Uh, something is happening to these coins and uh, they, it shouldn't be corroding or rusting. It should be staying, especially, uh, they were encapsulated in these plastic holders. Uh, so this has been protecting them from the elements, yet they've got all these spots on them and the coins are changing different colors. So um, there's definitely something wrong here. So how did uh, your customers feel about this when you informed them what was going on? Well, it was a serious problem for us because uh, we were selling thousands of these coins last year and uh, when we found these sports, this corrosion thing, we advised all our customers to sell these coins back to banks. And um, uh, the other thing is that uh, these coins are minted in two different places, in Moscow and in St. Petersburg. And the problem appears only with St. Petersburg coins. There is a stamp here. You can, you can see a stamp here of St. Mm -hmm. Petersburg uh, refinery here. Okay. So, uh, this is a mystery and it's unfolding and we'll keep you updated as uh, things progress. Thanks. Thank you.